Everyone knows that reading is important, but have you ever asked yourself why is that so? Reading is one of the most beneficial and practical activities that a human being can do. Unfortunately, it is a disappointment that people these days read less. As we know, books were the main source of entertainment centuries ago, but with the widespread of technological advances such as the cinema, television, internet, among others, many people left their books on the bookshelf. Good day everyone! This is Levin R. Pabriaga. I'll be sharing with you some tips and strategies in literacy instruction that can be used for struggling readers, especially now in a remote learning setup. Here's a fact. Among 79 participating countries and economies, the Philippines scored the lowest in reading comprehension in the 2018 Program for International Student Assessment or PISA. PISA is a worldwide study by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development that examines students' knowledge in reading, mathematics, and science. What could be the problem? Why are Filipino learners lagging behind in reading comprehension scores? We can determine the possible solutions for this problem by analyzing our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. But before that, let me share with you a short story entitled, We Are All Different. I have a straight hair. I have wavy hair. I have curly hair. I have afro hair. I have light skin. I have dark skin. I have a birthmark. I have freckles. I live with my two dads. I live with my grandpa. I live with my mom. I live with my mom and dad. I have a cat. I have a goldfish. I have a tortoise. I have an ant farm. I have two big brothers. I have no brothers or sisters. I have a twin. I have a little sister. I speak Portuguese. I speak Bengali. I use sign language. I speak Swahili. I like bananas. I like apples. I like grapes. I like strawberries. I do ballet. I play football. I play basketball. I do gymnastics. I like writing. I like music. I like art. I like maths. I like green. I like pink. I like rainbow colors. I like black. I like sunshine. I like rain. I like wind. I like snow. We are all different. We are all friends. 
The story will help to promote the beauty of diversity and celebrate differences. It will help children to talk about themselves and others positively and respectfully. As you noticed, the book looks at different hair types and families, as well as likes and dislikes. Reading this story could help introduce children to different disabilities, makes children more aware of their identity, and highlight diversity as an important element in the society. Overall, the story will help children promote learning environments that are more inclusive and kind. Stories help children with their social-emotional development. Through pictures and graphics, children also develop their creativity and imagination. Above all, it enhances children's language development. From the story heard earlier, we were exposed with the characteristics of diverse learners that may be present in the learning environment. Regardless of their age, gender, socioeconomic status, every learner deserves to achieve literacy. Literacy, which is defined as the ability to read and write, is crucial for the realization of individuals' potential, increased empowerment, and economic, social, and political participation. Literacy is a universal right, not a privilege. Teaching reading may be already difficult before the pandemic wreaked havoc on the education system. Due to limited face-to-face -face interaction, challenges in literary instruction increased. The abrupt shift to modular, online, and blended learning modalities altogether shocked teachers, parents, and learners who are not skilled and technologically equipped to handle these new approaches in education. Teachers who found it hard to teach lessons in a normal face-to-face -face setup due to challenges like large class size, insufficient learning materials, and unconducive learning environments found it harder to transfer learning in a remote setup where they could not monitor properly learning gaps and progress. Parents may feel stressed due to being out of work or working from home and juggling the roles of guiding children with their lessons and other parental responsibilities. On the other hand, learners struggle with the routines with which they are stuck at home resulting in them being anxious, withdrawing, angry, and needy for love and attention. Across the globe, learners have been away from schools and their teachers, but of course, literacy instruction must continue. The comforting prospect during this situation where learners are required to stay at home is the increased time that may be allotted for reading. After completing modules or attending online classes, learners may engage in various reading exercises. As the learning at home body, parents may assist their children in choosing the right kind and amount of reading exercises. Time spent reading together may also be a form of bonding between parents and their children. There are numerous resources for literacy instruction available online. There is no need to buy expensive materials just to learn how to read. However, learners may lack interest in reading. They may choose to engage in playing online games or watching non-educational television shows. Parents may have limited or no time in guiding their children in learning how to read because of their jobs or busy schedules. Parents may also consider it difficult to find the right kind and amount of resources for their children. 
The aforementioned strengths and weaknesses may open opportunities to enhance literacy instruction for children. Thinking optimistically, the pandemic may spur innovation in some online literacy programs, those that will help learners make learning to read fun. A strong homeschool partnership must also be fostered. Parents will not be the actual teachers at home. With the help of teachers, parents will just shepherd their children towards the correct learning resources for literacy instruction. To plan effective literacy programs, threats in its implementation must not be overlooked. Relying heavily on online resources increases screen time. This leads to blurred vision, eye strain, and long-term vision problems like nearsightedness. Access to resources may also be difficult for households with limited or no access to the internet. When we think of reading issues, we often imagine children who struggle to decode the letters in the text and turn them into spoken language. This type of struggling reader has a very difficult time figuring out what many of the words are and has poor phonological skills. However, there are also some learners who sound like they are reading beautifully. But in reality, they have difficulty with understanding vocabulary and figurative language, inferencing, verbal reasoning, grammatical development, and oral expression. As children get older, if they are decoding text well, we assume that they are reading well. Once a person learns to decode, reading comprehension now becomes more about language comprehension and focus. We must remember that at this transition, teachers may begin to notice that some learners who decode text fluently but they are not understanding. Since this type of struggling reader is less noticeable than the ones who have difficulty of decoding, teachers must be very careful. Even then, their issues may go undetected for a long time, maybe resulting in some high school students who sound like they are reading but understand nothing that they have read. Struggling readers should be targeted for remediation. The earlier, the better. Have a struggling reader in your class? Not too sure how to cater for his or her needs? Here are some strategies to assist learners with reading problems. First, scaffold. Set the bar too high and there's no success. Set the bar too low and it's belittling. Learners need an appropriate challenge that they can overcome with little assistance. This doesn't necessarily mean that the text needs to be different in every reading session. Perhaps they just need multiple reading of the same text. Maybe they need a partner to discuss the language while they're reading. Developing a reader's self-esteem is the most important facet here. Second, be inclusive. It is crucial to encourage as much success as possible when children are learning to read. The teacher should take as many steps to enable to the struggling reader to participate in classroom discussions about stories. How can we encourage this? Allowing children to listen to the text beforehand will increase their familiarity with the text and give them time to process the events in the story independently and without pressure. This will enable the struggling reader to respond to questions about the text alongside their peers. Third, allow preparation of oral reading. Oral reading is often a struggling reader's greatest fear as it publicizes his or her weakness. To enable learners to achieve success, allow time to practice until they are confident to present it. 
Next is explore children's interests. Include a range of reading materials for independent and guided reading. You may set up a virtual library where learners can choose the reading material they would like to explore. Using environmental print is also effective. Learners who are able to read a Jollibee sign walking down the street will often find difficulty when presented with the same word on a sheet of paper. Giving individual words enables learners to engage in more complex language than what would be possible out of context. One good practice is that learners could take photos of words in the environment and add them to a word wall. Use shared reading. Shared reading is a great method for boosting the confidence of struggling readers. Learners can join in when they are ready to participate. This can be utilized even in online modalities. Multiple readings mean multiple opportunities for success. Target overall comprehension of language. Recent research reveals that reading comprehension difficulties may stem from an underlying oral language weakness that exists from early childhood before reading is even taught. It turns out that learners who have poor reading comprehension also often understand fewer spoken words and less of what they hear and have worse spoken grammar. So, to address reading comprehension deficits effectively, educators may have to use an approach that teaches vocabulary, thinking skills, and comprehension first in spoken language and then in reading and written language. Teach vocabulary. Because learners with poor comprehension often have poor vocabulary skills and understand less of what they hear, it's helpful to teach the meanings of new words through the use of multisensory strategies like graphic organizers, pictures, and mnemonics. Improving their overall language skills increases the likelihood that they will understand the words they encounter in written text. Since it is impossible to know every word one might encounter, learners should be taught about the different types of context clues and how to use them to determine the meaning of unknown words. Another strategy is to teach our learners how to think. Once learners have the vocabulary to be able to make it through a text, they often struggle with the complex thinking or sustained attention required to keep up with all of the important details and to access information that is implied but not directly stated. Teachers can instruct learners on cognitive strategies that they can use like discussing or activating prior knowledge, developing questions while reading, connecting what they are reading to another text, something they have seen or something they have experienced, visualizing or picturing what they are reading, making predictions about what will come next in the text, looking back for keywords and rereading in order to clarify or answer questions, and thinking aloud to model the strategies and thought processes needed for comprehension. Learners must know how to use the strategies that work best for them depending on the text they are reading. Pulling deeper meaning out of text through the use of thinking strategies can be beneficial not just to reading comprehension but also to writing. I know that you feel that everything I said is just too much to handle. Yes, it is difficult. But literacy instruction during a remote learning setup is possible. Now, let me guide you in setting up your virtual library. You may be interested in using educational content from YouTube. YouTube is about any video you could think of, from cooking videos to gameplay walkthroughs and everything in between. Since the creation of the website in 2005, 
People are now uploading 500 hours of footage every minute, and the website is generating over 1 billion views daily. YouTube has opened up the tools for education in many ways. Teachers and learners both often use YouTube as an alternate form to teaching and learning a lesson. You may want to check my channel for instructional videos and reading using the Marunko approach. Pagbasa gamit ang Marunko approach. Unang hakbang. Matapos ang aralin na ito, kayo ay inaasahan na magamit ang tunog ng mga letrang M, A, at S sa pagbabasa ng mga salita, parirala, at pangungsa. Ito ang letrang M. Ang tunog ng M ay hmm, hmm, hmm. Sabihin nyo nga o bigasin pagkatapos ko. Hmm. 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 Para mas maalala nyo ang tunog ng letrang M, sabay-sabay natin pakinggan ang awit na ito. Bawat letra sa ating alpabete may tunog. Sumabay sa awit mo. Halika, bigasin natin muli. Letrang M Ngayon naman, Gamit ang inyong daliri na hintuturo, isulat ang letrang M sa hangin. Una, ang malaking letrang M. Ngayon naman, ang maliit na letrang M. Nagawa niyo ba mga bata? Kung oo, magaling! Ano nga ang tunog ng letrang M? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Ang tunog ng M ay hmm. Ang tunog ng M ay hmm. Bawat letra may tunog. Ang tunog ng M ay hmm. Mga bata, tandaan niyo ang tunog na ito ha dahil mamaya gagamitin natin ito para makabuo ng mga salita at pangungusap kasama pa ang dalawang letra na pag-aaralan natin. Ito ang letrang S. Ang tunog ng S ay S. 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 o bigkasin nyo pagkatapos ko. Para mas maalala nyo ang tunog ng letrang S, sabayan nyo ako sa awiting ito. Bawat letra sa ating alpabeto'y may tunog Sumabay sa awit mo nang malaman mo Tuklasin natin ngayon ang letrang S Ang tunog ng S ay S, 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 Sagi, S, S, Sisiw, S, S, Sando, S, S, Suklay Halika, bigasin natin muli. Letrang S
Ngayon naman, gamit muli ang inyong daliri na hintuturo, isulat ang letrang S sa hangin. Una, ang malaking letrang S. Ngayon naman, ang maliit na letrang S. Nagawa niyo ba mga bata? Kung oo, mahusay! Muli, ang tunog ng letrang S ay Ang tunog ng S ay Ang tunog ng S ay Bawat letra may tunog Ang tunog ng S ay Tatandaan nyo rin ang tunog na ito ha, dahil mamaya, kasama ang tunog ng letrang M, magbabasa tayo ng maraming salita, parirala, at pangusap. Ito ang letrang A. Ang tunog ng A ay A, A, A. Sabihin o bigkasin nyo ulit pagkatapos ko. A, A, A. Para mas maalala nyo ang tunog ng letrang A na A, pakinggan ang awit na ito. Bawat letra sa ating alpabeto ay may tunog. Sumabay sa awit mo nang malaman mo. Tuklasin. Halika, bigasin natin muli. Letrang A Ngayon, Isulat natin ang letrang A sa hangin gamit ang inyong daliri na hintuturo. Una, ang malaking letrang A. Sunod, ang maliit na letrang A. Ano nga ulit ang tunog ng letrang A? A, A, A. Ang tunog ng A ay A, ang tunog ng A ay A. Bawat letra may tunog, ang tunog ng A ay A. Ngayon na alam na natin ang tunog ng mga letrang M, A, at S, sa tingin ko, handa na tayong magbasa unti-unti ng mga salita na mayroong mga tunog nito. Balikan natin ang tunog ng letrang A. A, 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 A. Sabihin o bigkasin nyo pagkatapos ko. A, 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 A. Ngayon naman, pagsamahin natin ang tunog ng letrang M na M, at ang tunog ng letrang A na A. Ma. 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 Sabihin o bigkasin nyo pagkatapos ko. Ma. 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 Isa pa. Ma, ma, ma. Ngayon naman, subukin natin pagsamahin ang tunog ng letrang S na S at ang tunog ng letrang A na A. Sa, 
sa sa Sabihin o bigkasin niyo pagkatapos ko sa 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 Isa pa sa 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 Kung nabasa mo ang mga ito, ikaw ay bibigyan ko ng 3 stars! You can also access storytelling videos. Buksan ang iyong isipan Sumama sa ating kwentuhan Kaalaman, kasiyahan Hadit sa atin ang ating aklan Nakaitikan Ang Pagong at Ang Kuneho Muling isinalaysay ni Boots S. A. Pastor. Isang umaga ay nagtagpo-tagpo ang mga hayop sa gubat upang maghanap ng pagkain. Dalian mo, pagong! Anang kuneho, lagi kang napag-iiwanan. Ang kupad mo kasi. Mabagal akong kumilos, pero hindi ako makupad. Protesta ng pagong. Malakas at matatag ako, at kaya kong patunayan yan. Paano? Hamon ng kuneho. Hinamon ng pagong ang kuneho sa isang karera. Magkarera tayo mula rito hanggang sa dulo ng daang ito. Anang pagong? Karera? Tumawa ng malakas ang kuneho. Madali lang yan, pagong! Nagsimula ang karera. Nanguna agad ang kuneho. Aabuti ng buong araw ang pagong na yan bago niya marating ang dulo ng daang ito. Anang kuneho sa kanyang sarili. Mabuti pa'y umidlip muna ako. Hindi nagtagal at bumunga din ang pagong sa daan. Kawawang kuneho. Anang pagong sa kanyang sarili nang lampasan niya ang natutulog na kuneho. Dapit hapon na nang magising ang kuneho. Tiyak na nasa daan pa sa ibaba ang pagong! Anang kuneho nang hindi niya makita ni Anino ng pagong. Ngunit pagdating ng kuneho sa dulo ng daan, ay nakita niyang nagkakasiyahan ang pagong at ang ibang hayo. Nanalo ang pagong sa karera. Leo the Late Bloomer Story by Robert Cross Pictures by Jose Aruego Leia couldn't do anything right. He couldn't read. He couldn't write. He couldn't draw. He was a sloppy eater, and he never said a word. What's the matter with Leia? asked Leia's father. 
nothing, said Leo's mother. Leo is just a late bloomer. Better late than never, thought Leo's father. Every day, Leo's father watched him for signs of blooming. And every night, Leo's father watched him for signs of blooming. Are you sure Leo's a bloomer? Asked Leo's father. Patience, said Leo's mother. A watched bloomer doesn't bloom. So Leo's father watched television instead of Leo. The snows came. Leo's father wasn't watching. But Leo still wasn't blooming. The trees budded. Leo's father wasn't watching. But Leo still wasn't blooming. Then one day, in his own good time, Leo bloomed. He could read. He could write. He could draw. He ate neatly. He also spoke. And it wasn't just a word. It was a whole sentence. And that sentence was... I made it! You can also find some songs. A A A So B B Bola C K Cactus D D The Ga E A L C F French Fries G K Guitara H H Hamon I E E Bon J J Jeepney K K Queso L Lasso M Mani N Nanai N Yen Yanino N Jinga Niti O O O Kra Pipa Pagong Q Kwa Quiet R Rajo S Sagi Tita Tatsulok U U U bus, Viva volleyball, W W Wallis, X X taxi, Y Yo Yo, Z Z zipper, Mga letrang dalawamput walo, Awiti natin sa ting alpabeto. Show me a little love. When you visit my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I would also like to introduce you to the online publishing house Twinkle. Twinkle provides instant access to a complete range of teaching, planning, and assessment materials to support learning. This includes materials for primary schools, secondary schools, parents, and home educators. As for now, they have materials written in English, but they are soon releasing materials written in Filipino to reach our learners more. I promise you, Twinkle saves teachers time. We know that as a teacher, creating materials are quite overwhelming. Twinkle provides quality educational materials that would fit classroom and online learning needs for beginning, approaching proficiency, and proficient readers. 
Be sure to check Twinkle's website to explore lots of resources for literacy instruction. You may choose to sign up for a free account or a premium account. To get updates, you may also like and follow Twinkle's official Facebook page and join its Facebook group. Remember, to teach reading more inclusively, provide a balance of resources to our learners. What can we do? Modules and hard copies of materials may be given to learners with limited or no access to the internet. Also, these tangible materials will help reduce the screen time of our learners. The low comprehension scores of Filipino learners in the international reading assessments is a challenge for all of us. Remember, let us not grow tired of helping our learners attain maximum proficiency in literacy. Reading is the gateway for children that makes all other learning possible. Be a hero. Be a reading teacher. Once again, this is Levin Arpa Briaga. Thank you for listening.